Hello friends and welcome to the Country Cottage. <laughs> so as you can see on the screen, um, the girls are up from their afternoon nap and they are playing on their Carter's mat that um, I guess I got this last, I think I got this last spring actually at my favorite consignment store because I don't think they make this anymore. But for those of you who have not seen it, um, I have got to share. Look at this play mat. It is a big donut. <laughs> is that not the cutest thing ever? It's a big donut with sprinkles. Oh my gosh. And you know what? The girls love it. Absolutely love it. But you know what is the cutest thing? I'll show you. <laughs> well, the girls are just kind of waking up. I've changed um, Casey's diaper. Or, sorry, I've changed uh, Claire. Oh my gosh. It's hard being a twin mom, you guys. It's really hard being a twin mom, especially to identical babies. <laughs> like, you get these guys mixed up, particularly their names. Anyway, um, Claire got up first, so she has had a bum change. Casey woke up later, so she has not yet had a change. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to show you what came with this mat because it is so darn cute. Like, it's unbelievably cute. So, <laughs> look at these toys. Look at it. It's a little ice cream cone. And <laughs> do you want to see that? And look at this. It's a popsicle. And you know what? It's like a little pillow. This is the cutest darn set. I was so thrilled when I found it at my um, my local children's consignment store. And I kid you not, I don't think it was ever played with. It was, I mean, it's it's just like brand new condition. Just like brand spanking new. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. And it's, you know, got a little bell in there. And the, look at this. The little chewy, the little chewy silicone part is uh, an ice cream bar <laughs> and a unicorn. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> what do you think, girls? What do you want to play with first? You know, they're just at that age, at five months old, they're just at that age where, you know, things are really starting to interest them. Here's another really cute one. It's a pretzel with salt on it and it's and it's like that you know <laughs> crunchy isn't that cute oh my gosh do you want this one do you want this one huh here you can hold this one <laughs> you need your bum chain stinky girl um so look at this one it's a cupcake and I think, you know, when this was brand new, it played music. Because if I squeeze it, it makes kind of a... Can you hear that? And it's got a musical note on it. So I'm pretty sure it was musical uh, once upon a time. But, um, you know, it's just it's just played out. Anyway, isn't that so sweet? Yeah, I was just... I was so thrilled when I found this set. And like I said, I had, it was like nobody had ever played with it. Look at this, how cute that is. And then here's this one. It's a mirror, but it's like a it's like a, a sucker. That's so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. What are we gonna give you to play with? You know what? I bet you would like this mirror here. Because you can see yourself. You can see yourself, Claire. What do you think about that? I don't know. Claire's looking at something. I don't know what. <laughs> Are you looking at mommy? Are you looking at mommy? <laughs> Are you looking at mommy? She actually, um, I'm just going to see if she wants to have a little bit. I'm going to come over here and see if she wants to have a little drink. Because um, her sister, when she woke up, she had uh, a bottle. But... Um, But Casey, or Claire, did, was not interested. Yeah, sweet girl. 
she wasn't all that interested in having a bottle of formula. So I'm just going to see, are you guys seeing me okay? Or do I need to turn you? There we go. Yeah, when, um, when Casey woke up, she, she was wanting to have a bottle. But when I offered one to Claire, she wasn't the least bit interested in having any formula. So I'm just offering her some filtered water. And you know what? She's, she's um, actually, she's quite thirsty. You know, when my, my, um, oops, this bottle's leaking a little bit. This bottle's leaking a little bit. Oops, oops. Got some water in your, on your face. Okay, you know what? I totally forgot, you guys. Oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. Look what Auntie Jenny brought the girls from London. She just went to London, England, and she brought back for the girls. Look at these Peter Rabbit. So there's one. It's like a soft, um, a soft pink, and um, and it's got um, well, it's got Peter. It's got uh, Mrs. Um, uh, I think it's Mrs. Tiddlywinks. And then um, Jemima Puddle Duck. And then I'm pretty sure that's either Flopsy or Mopsy. And then look at this one she brought. It's got, it's got the squirrel and then it's got Peter Rabbit. And there's um, Jemima Puddle Duck down there at the bottom. But look how pretty. Like they match, but they're just slightly different. So... <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? And oh my gosh, I'll, I'll have to show you. She brought another one um, for uh, for Liam. And oh, it's so cute, you guys. It's so, anyway, I, I'm saving that for a changing video with Liam. But um, anyway, I'm going to put these on the girls because um, I think they might be starting to teeth, to be honest with you. I'm actually waiting on, I ordered a thermometer from Amazon because last night they were pretty fussy and I'm thinking that they might be getting a first tooth. Um, you know, and I always was able to tell if um, my grandson was getting a first tooth because he, his, um, you know, he'd get very red, you know, red cheeks. As you can see, these girls look pretty rosy. Do you want to sit up? Do you want to sit up? Hmm? You all done with this? Um, he'd get pretty rosy in the cheeks, and then he'd just get, like, a slightly elevated temperature. Oh, my gosh, you guys. <laughs> look how sweet they are. Don't those bibs look so, so precious on them? Thank you, thank you, Auntie Jenny. They are, the girls love, love their bibs. Absolutely love them. Anyway, that reminds me, I need to give um, this little, this, this little girl, this little girl, a diaper change. Yes, I do. You need to have a diaper change because you got a wet bum bum. Okay, so I'm going to change her diaper. Her sister's already had her diaper changed. And, uh, yeah, I, you know what? I'm telling you, I, you know, haven't had a baby in the house. Um, well, other than, you know, the odd sleepover with my granddaughter. But she's almost three years old. She is almost three years old. Um, are you guys seeing me Okay. Oh, yeah, you're seeing me okay. <laughs> do you want to... I think you might like this one, Claire. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Huh? Ooh, she's like, ooh, she likes that. She likes the look of that. Here. <laughs> Here, do you want to turn your head? Turn your head a little bit? Huh? <laughs> you're just looking at mom. 
You're just looking at mom. They have um, the same, oh, now she's looking out the window. They have the same dark, dark brown eyes, really twinkly um, dark brown eyes as my biological children. All three of my, well, my, my son, who is my oldest, he was born with like eyes that were, um, you know, black, because of course we're Spanish. And um, so when he was born, his eyes were like black and they lightened to a really dark brown as he got older. Um, my middle daughter has more kind of amber colored eyes, but, um, and then my youngest, of course, has the same as my son, really dark, dark eyes. And these girls have really, really dark, dark eyes. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of neat um, that all my babies, uh, my, my bio kids and my adopted kids and my grandchildren, um, of course, are First Nation. So they have very, very, very dark eyes. So let's get this little girl changed. And move these chunky monkey legs. Oh my gosh, you guys. She has got the chunkiest thighs. I actually went to the pharmacy today and um I was looking at I I was looking at um some new bath products that they have at my local pharmacy and they are um the the company that makes the really cute diapers. What the heck is the name of that company? Um, I want to say Bella Boo, but that's not it. Um, oh, gosh. You guys, help me out in the comments. What are those diapers that are so darn cute? Um, anyway, you need to help me out with those. Um, I was looking at the diapers, but they have a whole line of baby products, like baby powder, um all kinds of different um baby products like baby powder hair um hair conditioner um the hair conditioner was called apricot vanilla which um i sprayed it because i really wanted to smell it um you guys know what i'm talking about what diapers i'm talking about the ones that have like the most adorable patterns ever uh, oh is it hella bello or yeah hella bello I think that's what it's called. Anyway, look what I found at the pharmacy. I was kind of excited to find these actually. They're baby safe cotton ear swabs. I have never seen these before. I don't know, maybe um, in the US you guys have these, but um, these girls like get, you know, they'll get kind of like gunk in their eyes, um, you know, the corners of their eyes or, you know, the insides of their ears and uh, not, you know, in the ear canal, but the outer canal. Um, and I just thought, oh my God, how perfect are these? Like, I was so thrilled. I have never, I've seen these um, online. I've seen moms use them online, but I've never, I'm going to open them up and have a look at what they look like. Um, and they're in this cute little box. Anyway, I just thought, oh, wow, that, look how perfect that is, you know, for just doing like, if, if they have like a little goop in the corner of our eyes or like the outer canal of their ear has like a little, <laughs> once they start eating rice cereal, you know, there's going to be um, rice cereal in every crevice. Anyway, I picked those up and, um, and I picked up some wipes and, um, Actually, I need to grab some wipes because I haven't, um, I really like the water wipes. I don't know. I, I'd love to hear from you guys um, down below in the comments. What type of wipes do you use on your babies? I use these on my bio kids, these Pampers Sensitive Fragrance Free Wipes. Um, and I, you know, I, of course, am using these on the girls. And, but I did order some water wipes from um, Amazon. So I'm quite interested. Water wipes are so expensive though, you guys. Oh my goodness gracious, they're expensive. Anyway, I use these on my bio kids and I, I really, really like them. And uh, so I'm gonna just continue to use these for now. And when the water wipes get here, um, we'll do a comparison of, you know, what we think. Um, 
you know, I'll let you know. I'll, you know, show them to you and we can just sort of discuss what's the better, what is the better choice? <laughs> what is the better choice for these little chunky monkeys? Hmm? <laughs> what is it? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get you changed so mommy can pick you up and kiss your little face. Okay, so let's get some wipes out. Are you guys seeing us okay? Okay, so she's just wet. She's just wet. She's just wet. So I don't I don't know what you guys think about um powder I am a huge huge fan of cornstarch based powders certainly not talc um, but the cornstarch based powder I am a huge fan of I used it on my bio kids and I used it on my foster babies and now I'm using it on my adopted um, babies and yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan. I love how it smells. I love how it, you know, gets um, into the into the creases of their thighs and prevents like any chafing. Especially, <laughs> no judgment, but these girls are chunky monkeys like their mama, and uh, I really think that the uh, cornstarch in their creases um, helps a lot with any kind of chafing. <laughs> Oh my God, I have to pick this girl up. I have to pick this girl up. <laughs> and of course, the second I pick her up, I gotta pat the bum bum. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but I've gotta pat the bum bum. Right? Right? I gotta pat the bum bum. <laughs> I gotta pat the bum bum, right? <laughs> She's like, oh my gosh, mom, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so the plan for the rest of the day is uh, we're going to do some um, some tummy time and, you know, they're going to take turns sitting up in with the boppy and, uh, you know, to strengthen their backs. And, um, yeah, and then it's going to be, it's going to be bath. Um you know, and then they'll have their final bottle and um, bath and hair wash time. And um, right now I am bathing them. Like I showed you guys, I have the bath chair in the old fashioned bathtub. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. I have the bathtub in the old fashioned tub, right? And, um, <laughs> Here, what would you like to play? Oh, do you want to play with this? Look at that. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> do you, or you want to turn in and, and say hi to your aunties and uncles? Yeah, anyway, I have the bath chair in the old-fashioned tub in the um, in their ensuite bathroom. Hallelujah. And... Uh, so I'm bathing them individually, and I just have my daughter sit with um, whoever's not in the bath. Um, I am really contemplating. I, I, I think I'm going to have to... I do have a playpen set up in my bedroom um, for them, you know, if, if, if they sleep in my room. Um, but... I may have to bring it in here because, like I said, um, this little one here, this little girl here is uh, starting to roll over on her side and I have a feeling she's going to be crawling soon. Anyway, thank you so much for coming to the cottage and joining us for a little playtime with the babies. And as always, take care.